Hi everybody, I want to welcome you to the peripheral neuropathy page of this website. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to advise you, if you haven't already done so, uh, click on the video on the welcome page, and this will give you a great understanding and, and what I call the big picture concepts of what we're trying to achieve here at this clinic and why we get the results that we get with a lot of these chronic conditions. So, good idea to just uh, uh, view that, get a good understanding, and then uh, come back to this um, this page and click on this video. And then you'll have an opportunity to read also a lot of information on there. But I put the videos up so you can get a good visual and a good um, idea of what's going on in general with, with uh, how we treat these conditions. So let's talk briefly about peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy, overall, very easy to diagnose, okay? Neurologists will do some testing um, to find out uh, your sensory nerves are involved and then also reviews your history that you have burning and stabbing and tingling and numbness and sharp electric pain and uh, inability to walk long distances because the feet hurt, etc. Uh, there's more obviously, but just in, in general, those are the signs and symptoms you'll get with sensory neuropathy. Um, the reality is it's not a very hard diagnosis. What we find though is the treatment is almost non-existent. So you've probably said to your doctor, okay, I have peripheral neuropathy, now what? And they basically give you, well, it's not a whole lot we can do about it. That's most of you out there. How do I know that? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of interviews uh, with and examinations on peripheral neuropathy patients. So I know this. And I've done a lot of calling myself to hundreds, probably not hundreds, but uh, many, many clinics around the country, many of the top, quote unquote, top neurologists to talk to them about it and they just really don't know a lot about it. Again, fortunately for you, we do. And what I want to give you is a good you know, brief background and understanding of neuropathy and how it can be treated. Two key concepts here. Neuropathy needs to be treated, has to be treated I'll even say, for us to get the results that we've gotten. Uh, we did it one way and I'll explain that. Now we're doing it another way and it's working very, very well. It has to be treated both internally and externally, okay? And you can read about that on this page. But internally means that there are reasons why you have peripheral neuropathy. For about 60, 70% of the people that come into my office uh, with neuropathy, they have a known reason, diabetes, statin medication use, previous cancer treatment, etc., that disrupted or damaged the nerves and the neurons. The other, say 20, 30% of you, maybe a little bit more or less, depending, uh, have no known cause, meaning the doctors say, we really don't know why you have neuropathy. Okay, of those 20, 30% uh, of the patients that come in here with no known etiology or no known cause, many of them, a high, high number of them, have an autoimmune condition. Whether that's a thyroid autoimmune like Hashimoto's or Graves' disease, they may have a RA that attacks the joints, scleroderma, lupus, etc. There's an autoimmune disease present, whether it's diagnosed or not diagnosed. We've diagnosed several autoimmune conditions uh, in the past week and a half or two weeks that have probably gone on for 20 years. What that means is autoimmune conditions can attack joints, they can attack the thyroid in the case of Hashimoto's, what have you. But that's not all they can attack. They can attack anything. They can attack the brain, the cerebellum of the brain. They can attack the neurons or the nerves, creating problems uh, with the myelin sheath, which will lead to peripheral neuropathy. So bottom line, I just used that as an example. The bottom line is there's something causing your neuropathy. Not many healthcare providers, matter of fact, very few, are looking at the whys, okay? Because if we want to treat this effectively, we have to then understand why it's happening and number two, be able to control why it's happening, okay? Because if we can control contributing factors to the neuropathy, then we can control the neuropathy. But if we don't do anything with, whether it's a diabetic situation or autoimmune or what have you, and we don't do anything to change that outcome, then the neuropathy is gonna continue no matter what. So internally, we need to change things internally. We need to get your body functioning better. We need to reverse diabetes, which is 100% possible in most, most patients. We need to uh, control an autoimmune response, etc. okay? 
So that's the internal way that we treat it, and it's an absolute must because, as I said earlier, we used to treat it just externally, and we got good results, but now we treat it both internally and externally, and we get phenomenal results. So the second part of this is treating it externally. Very simply put, if you put enough stimulation, frequency, timing, and duration of stimulation into the sensory nerve fibers of the sensory nerve, there's something called receptor-driven response, meaning there's receptors that if there's enough receptor-driven response or stimuli to those nerve fibers, the action potential gets higher and higher and higher, and they begin to start to respond appropriately. Now, let me say this. There are probably neurons in your body, sensory nerve neurons, that are not working well, that are damaged to the point where they won't work well. There are also ones that are not responding well, but are still viable and healthy. And we want to stimulate any viable and healthy neuron or nerve cell that's in your body. And if we do that enough, we can get very, get very good results. Again, we used to treat it just externally, got pretty good results. Now we change the internal environment and, and figure out and, and respond to why it's causing the neuropathy, like a diabetes or autoimmune. So we control that, and then we treat it externally. If you do both, you get phenomenal results. Okay, Just putting a TENS unit or a laser on your foot or what have you may help short term, maybe days, maybe a couple weeks but it's not going to change the outcome of the neuropathy for very long because those modalities done by themselves still don't correct the cause of the neuropathy. The internal environment is what has to change in order to really get to the root cause. Again, needs to be treated both internally and externally. And we do that here. Again, we, we, we used to only do externally, moderate results. Now we get very, very good results by treating internally. So that home page will give you an idea of testing. We do endocrine testing. We may do nutritional uh, testing uh, labs to find out you know, what exactly is going on. Do you have insulin resistance? Do you have all these problems that may need to get corrected that are contributing to the neuropathy? Okay, so I hope that gives you a real good basic understanding of how we treat neuropathy and why we get the results that we get. There are probably not more than 1% of all healthcare providers, I would say, in the country, uh, maybe even in the, on the planet, that even treats it like this. I don't know many at all, okay? So fortunately for you, you have us as a resource in order to get your neuropathy helped to a dramatic degree and long-term too, not just short-term, but you have to be a willing participant because you will have to make lifestyle modifications. You will have to make some changes in order to get that internal environment right, okay? If you would like more information or to order a free DVD on the peripheral neuropathy, both the uh, overall what it is and how we treat it uh, regarding our program, give Terry a call at 714-241-9355. Read as much as you can about it that we have on this webpage. And then if I could do anything for you, uh, please give us a call and uh, we'll be happy to help you. Okay, wish you the best of luck. Just know that uh, there's a resource here. It makes sense. It works. It works very, very well when the right things are applied. Okay, thank you.